In this lesson, we'll walk you through how to get started with IBKR Mobile on the Android. We'll log in and show you how to navigate the app, show you the homepage and how to access the watch list. And we'll share tips on how to customize the watch list. Before you can log into IBKR Mobile, you'll need to download the app from the Google Play Store. Once IBKR Mobile is downloaded, tap the icon to open it up. On this screen, you can register two-factor authentication, deposit a check and log in to trade. If you don't have an account yet, you can sign up for IBKR by tapping the Sign Up button. I'll tap the Trade button to log in. At the top of the application, you can choose to log in to your live account or in paper account mode. For this course, we'll be using the paper account. In the center of the screen, you can enter your TWS username and password. You can turn on SSL encryption, which adds an extra layer of security for your trading information, then log in. If you log into your paper account, you will see a warning message to let you know that this is not a brokerage account. Click I understand and accept to proceed. You'll see icons at the bottom of the screen. Let's tap the home icon. Here, you'll see your top portfolio positions. You can tap the arrow to see your portfolio. Current market indexes. Briefing.com update. Top news and portfolio news. Watchlist favorites. And links to your account statements, transaction history and more. Let's tap the watchlist I icon at the bottom. Column headers appear at the top of the watchlist. In this example, you'll see the instrument, last traded price, change and volume. You'll also see the tick dots and change value color changes to reflect the directional movement. You have the flexibility to add multiple instruments with different asset types. For instance, in this watch list, I have stocks, futures and currencies displayed. Tap any row to see a mini chart with today's high and low, 52 week high and low and bid ask prices displayed. If you have a position, you'll see it appear below the instrument with associated PL and unrealized PL. If you tap on the mini chart anywhere in that instrument area or in the arrow, a new screen will appear with more in depth details, a bigger chart, news, research, event calendar analyst ratings, ESG ratings, key ratios, dividends, and more. We'll cover the quote details screen in a little bit. Next to the search symbol, you'll see three vertical dots. Tap this to add an instrument, rename your watch list, and manage your watch list columns. Tap add columns to see a full list of columns that may be added. You can search for a topic or just tap a category. For instance, I can tap the position and PL category and select average price and then tap the arrow on the top left. Now you'll see the average price column display in the watch list. To remove an instrument, select Edit Instruments, then tap the checkbox next to the instrument and tap the Trashcon icon to the top right. You can rename the watch list name or create a new watch list too. To add a new instrument to a watch list, choose Add Instrument. Enter a symbol, then select the asset type, stock, options, warrant, etc. In addition, you can view the option chain and combo builder or use the spread template tool to create future spreads. Below that, you'll see the symbol KO on the additional exchanges. In this example, I'll choose stock. You will now see quote details for KO and you can choose to add it to an existing watch list or a new watch list. Next, I'll create a new option watch list and add the instrument KO and select options. You'll see the nearest option display under select contract. Another way to select an option is to select option chain. This time I'll enter the symbol AAPL and search. Then select Option Chain and Combo Builder. 
Here the option chain displays. See the expiries at the top and just swipe to see more entries. Calls are on the left, strike prices in the center and puts on the right. Select one or more options on either the call or put side. You can turn on the strategy builder to create a combo or just tap plus watch list to add it to the watch list. See the AAPL strangle appear on the watch list. One more tip. You can ensure that all of your watch lists display the same columns, even if you make changes to one of them. To do this, tap the menu, then select configuration. In the display section, enable sync columns on all watch list. Under cloud, you'll see watch list import. Tap this to import watch lists from TWS desktop or other devices. More setting features are available within configuration and we'll link out to the user guide in the study notes for this lesson. Now that you know how to log in and navigate IBKR Mobile on the Android, let's turn our attention to the next lesson on IBKR Mobile in Traders Academy.